Very happy to have our next guest join us back here in San Francisco, Sabrina Claudio. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm so not, happy to be here. Not too long ago that you were here. It's October now and Yes, August. I was in Outside Lands, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was amazing. Golden Gate Park. Was it, how Beautiful. cold was it? How many layers? Listen, I had a dress. I wasn't prepared for the cold. I didn't know San Francisco gets cold. <laughs> I really didn't because I'm I live in LA, so it's like such a difference. Yeah. So I was wearing a dress, but I think like the adrenaline and the energy kind of like warmed me up. So I was good, but I'm freezing today. <laughs> yeah. I can tell we are sweating right now. I have a heater on, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. At least you you're familiar with San Francisco now. Yes. And you probably didn't even get to see anything or absorb I anything. I haven't tri like gone on an adventure, but from what I've seen in the cars I've been in, it's beautiful. What's life like touring? It seems like you just basically look out the window and all of a sudden you're in a dressing room and you're on stage and then you go to, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much that. Um, we kind of just, the way we did it this time, we have cities back to back and like shows back to back. So every time we get to a city, we're literally just there to prepare for the show, do the show, probably maybe get some rest and then we have to get to the next city. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like a very fast paced thing. Um, not a lot of sightseeing, unfortunately, with all the beautiful cities we go to, but it's good to go to the city and at least meet the type of people that are there and just get the energy of every place that we go How to. How many gas stations do you think you've uh, Oh my god, so I far? mean, we did a, like a five hour drive today, we stopped at like three gas stations, yeah. just cause. Pick up any good gear? Right, uh, just snacks. No hats? No. No snacks. no random socks or anything no, like that? No, just you know? snacks and maybe a nice bathroom break. <laughs> yeah. Well, lot lizards? You, you, you must see a lot of lot lizards then in that case. No. Really? Should I? Yes. If you're touring the country, you should see lot lizards everywhere. You know what lots of... No. Oh. What is that? I thought you were mean like lizard lizards. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, is that a lot different thing? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a code for women of the night for the big truck drivers that do no. cross country trips. Oh, yes. I would love to see that. I've never Please seen document that. this and put it on your story. I would I I never even knew that was a thing. Yeah, lot lizards. Well, that will be an experience for yeah. sure. I've yet lot lizards. to come across. Tell your that. tell your bus driver or lot whoever lizards. whoever's driving you. I thought you literally meant like a gecko? lizards. Yeah, like <laughs> iguana. San Francisco. been a few months now since the EP has been released. Congratulations yes, on you. that. No rain, no flowers. Yes. How long did that take to write? It seemed like that was a quick little thing. It was. It only took a month and a half just because, well, what I normally do with my other projects, which is why they take a lot longer to make, is I will um, kind of just write other people's experiences conversations that I've had with other people. I don't normally write from personal experience. So it takes a little bit longer just because it's, it's. I like to go deep into conversation with people and just write about that. But with this project, I was a little bit selfish with it and I just decided to kind of write everything just emotionally that I was going through just in life. And it just kind of happened and came out so fluently and quickly that it just literally took a month and a half and we were good. Wow. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable now to write in this fashion? I do, do feel think? comfortable. I, I feel like I'm gonna find some sort of a happy medium because I obviously um, know what the people who listen to me, what they love. I know they love the love songs. I know they love all that kind of stuff, the sultry stuff. Um, so I'm gonna find a happy medium between writing that type of music and then writing things about something personal that I'm going through that doesn't necessarily have to do with the relationship, just about general life, because I do feel those are important as well. So from now on, I'm gonna be a lot more open-minded about just like being okay with writing from my own perspective or something that I'm going through. What about your stage presence? Yeah, yeah. you've been performing in your bedroom, performing on stage, performing everywhere. How do you see your stage presence, your stage production evolving? Yeah. Um, obviously production, I, I don't, I'm a pretty simple girl. 
I don't see myself having a bunch of dancers or a bunch of background singers. I just love the live feel of just me on a mic and my full band. I have a full band, keys, drums, guitar, and bass. And um, to me, my shows, because my music is so intimate, I like my shows to be really intimate and I like to be interactive with those who came to see me. You know what I mean? So I feel like if there's a huge production, an eight count, like a choreography, all that kind of stuff, it's a, a little bit restraining when it comes to me wanting to speak to them. Um, my stage presence, I don't know. I, I'm just like, I can get really serious when I am singing because I'm really passionate about my music. But when it comes to like the in-betweens, I love to joke around. I love to talk to those who are there for me. It's just really fun. I want people to have fun and I also want them to get in their feelings and love what they're listening to and sing along and fall in love and like, you know, it's just, I don't know. I just want it to be free and open. Sounds like a great show. Thanks. Uh, tell me a joke. What's your favorite joke? A joke? Oh my God, what did I hear the other day? What's your go-to joke? I don't have a go-to joke, but I heard one the other day and now I forgot what it was. <laughs> it was so bad though. You'll bring it up on stage, I'm sure. No, I can't do the like the the knock knock jokes and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm just like a natural like go with the flow, you know. There's a saying I think that uh, people say that singers or musicians have the hidden talent to be comedians, and comedians have hidden talent to become musicians or singers. Honestly, I believe that. I'm not like I'm not like a stand up comedian, right, but I right, feel right. just like. I just feel free and like especially when the audience's energy is amazing, it's just like I feel like I could be myself. Yeah. You know, and people find it funny, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. You're pretty talented. Thank you. I had a good time with this Thank chat. Thank you, me too. And I really can't wait for your show tonight. I can't wait for you to see it. It's I, gonna I, be I, so want, fun. I want to be rolling over laughing. Okay. My, but you know, no pressure. No on pressure. Me. Yes. Now I have to be funny. <laughs> this is great. Uh, great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Appreciate your time. Yes, of course. Awesome. Uh, Sabrina Claudio, No Rain No Flowers, her latest EP. You're watching B-Sides On Air.